Well, hey guys, we're out here. It's uh, we're out here on the Western North Carolina mountains. Uh, this is my smallmouth lake, uh, one of them. And uh, I'm out here today, uh, trying going check in a different area. I usually like fish this place in my boat for 15 years before I even fished it in a kayak. And uh, so I know a lot of spots on this lake. And my one of my primary spots, there's like. There's a shad spawn going on there, but it's great. We've been catching a few, but there's just literally aquarium loads of bait. It's just like something you see in uh, something you see in salt water. There's just so much bait everywhere. <clears throat> and um, when I've encountered that in the past, uh, it's very hard to catch them. I mean, they'll be blowing up. It doesn't matter what you throw on them; they just won't eat it. You know, 99.9% .9 of the time. So. Go into an area where I know the fish are a lot dumber over here, and uh, they're big, and there's a lot of bait around here, but it's it's not all concentrated in one little area. It's kind of it's kind of like con like concentrated on a shelf that runs down about a about a three quarters of a mile. So it's a pretty good area to fish. Plus, it has a big long point on it. I always hit that first in the morning before any kind of boat traffic uh, comes up here. So. We're out here. We're gonna try to get a couple coals for the uh, for the um, I forgot my own league, the I League uh, tournament series. Um, our our like concept is to be a an online tournament club only, and uh, just it keeps the I like meetups are great and everything, but when you have those kind of tournaments, there's just a lot of driving around. So minimize the driving around. Join the I League. Uh, we have. Uh, monthly events where you can pick the day that you want to fish let's say let's say you have the 10th through the 15th to fish uh, like say Lake Hartwell those haven't been do going too good for us as far as participation goes but our first monthly has come out pretty good we had like nine people sign up we had a disqualify one for uh, <laughs> fishing in a John boat and a bunch of stuff so so um, you know if you're looking for something to fish if you're in northeast georgia north georgia if you're around the charlotte area um, we're gonna if you're out in a different part of north carolina or georgia we have to like inspect your area just to try to keep it fair because um because we've had some like we've been in on like done online tournaments before and it's like a lot of guys from the from the from the from the dirty down there in georgia just hammering giant bass and same thing in south carolina guys just hammering giant bass and we have big bass here but we just a, a 22 incher we might get one or two of those a year most of us but um <clears throat> for them it's a regular basis on a regular basis so it's very hard to compete in, compete in those kind of online tournaments but we're trying to keep it fair we're trying to keep participation up uh we we're if we're under 10 people we only pay one guy we only pay the winner and then we pay big bass um because like it's stupid to pay down you know three places for 10 people so so we kind of keep it top heavy we get more people we'll pay down more places so think about it check out our facebook page um derek and uh, me and derek are the uh the uh tournament directors so so just check it out if you're looking for something to jump in and fish i think it's 45 dollars um you know five dollars that goes to tourney x and then uh and then five dollars goes to big bass and then 35 dollars is up for whoever wins so check it out and hopefully i'll get a couple of calls today and i'll be checking back with you all right well we're coming up to the area here um just coming out of the abyssal 102 feet coming up here what i usually do when i come come to this area is i usually just fish on like suspended fish or ned rig or little swim bait on the bottom and then kind of wait for them to blow up see what kind of bait is around if there's no really bait around i'm going to move out i'm going to start up here on this point so we'll see what happens i'm going to try to give like a tip or two a day i mean i give tips in my video but i don't my videos but i don't like to i don't like to like be nick the informative fisherman like you watch the videos you pretty much can figure out what's going on if you've fished at all so but 
moving up on this point graphing at 46 feet right now I'm seeing a fish here and there on the side side scan goes from like 102 feet I'm like this is a really good area all right so I'm gonna keep moving around here and I'll be checking back with you you can see the slot you can see the slot limits you can see nice the, one. you can see the uh, relative health of the fish in each size class okay did that make sense yeah. that makes perfect sense here yeah. Ooh, I finally got a good one on the Whopper Plopper. Man, a freaking tank of a bass. An absolute tank of a bass. It's not giant. I had a Whopper Plopper on there, so... I'm going to subdue the fish with the boat grips. The Whopper Plopper is probably about the worst hook you want to get in your hand. I've had a few hooks in my hand over the years, but I've never had a Whopper Plopper hook in my hand. But they are just brutal. They used to suck back in the day, and now they're good. There it is. Look at the gut on that thing. Look at the gut on that thing. Almost look like it hasn't even spawned. But it probably has. Whew. Get a measurement. I'll do it this way. This way I do it in tournaments. Tournament style. Can I use my, my camera up? Mona, Mona. Yes, that might go 17. That might go 17 and a quarter. Oh, no, 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 no. Just want to take your picture. That's all we want to do. We know you're strong. Oh, God, this guy's trying to swim off the board. He is trying to swim off the board. Please. Of course it's on video. Why would it not be on video? Oh, jeez. This guy's being a nightmare. Let's try again. The quicker we get this, the quicker you're back in the water. I got one picture. I know I did. Go out and catch 30 oh bass God. in a day and go, ooh, look at me. I caught Giant 30 bass. Whoa. No, I'm going to tell you why I'm catching what I'm catching. Everything about that is what you're going to Beautiful. Learn. And so you could go out and you could catch them. It's no different, Matt, than what we do on day. Honestly, so without further ado. That's a nice little male. Well, we're out here. Uh, um, had a good day on on uh, the mountain lake the other day, exploring around, learning some perfect, learning some new areas, you know. But today we're out here. I had to get some service done in my truck, replace the fuel pump. Um, fuel pump wasn't bad, but I have like, I got a new motor in my truck, so I've been everything that was like had over two hundred thousand miles on it. I've I've been replaced. So I replaced the fuel pump and. And uh, so I couldn't fish this morning. So truck's running great. We're out here trying to catch a couple for the iLeague. Check out the iLeague on Facebook. And uh, we're out here, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get, I think my smallest fish is 16 and a half. Hopefully we'll just get one call a day. That'd be nice. So I'll be checking back with you. Well, I caught one, but I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna help. Don't think it's gonna help. We'll see. It's a nice one, though. Yeah. And I almost did, like. Dude, I almost think there's like a second wave of spawners coming in, believe it or not, because I got a male that, I caught a male that was peeing, and then this one, they weren't anywhere close to each other, but I don't know. 
My, sp my smallest fish is 16 and a half. Nope. Pretty though. Oh, it's hot. So my, you know, and it could be different. Not gonna for call. That's the crazy thing too. Is like, little. I, Greg, I don't know what your experience has been, but I know like my buddy Ben Nowak. We have so many hours that, that we can fly and support.